Hey guys, Dwayne here. I made my own blowgun and I'm pretty darn happy with it. Uh, sometimes when you start a project like this, you don't know how it's going to turn out. All right, but I'm I'm really pleased with it. There's Joey taking a nap, getting ready to take a nap. Anyway, first I want to say that I didn't invent this blowgun or the darts I'm going to show you. Um, I learned to make them by watching YouTube videos and I will link the videos that I found the most helpful um, in the information box. Alright, okay, so the blowgun. It's three feet long, half inch PVC, which makes it a 50 caliber. Alright, there are three main sizes, calibers of blowguns that I've found, um, 40 caliber, 50 caliber, and 62 caliber, all right, um, since they make half inch PVC pipe, 50 caliber was the way to go, all right, um, just three feet of half inch pipe, I had to buy a 10 foot piece, all right, so I have, and they cut it in half for me so it would fit in my car, all right? So I still have a five foot piece and a two foot piece for future projects. I, I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with them, but I wanted to let you know, I had to buy a 10 foot piece and you probably will too, all right? The mouthpiece is actually two fittings. They're called reducers. This is a one inch to three quarter inch reducer. All right. And then there's also a three quarter inch to half inch reducer. All right. So it's two pieces. Um, the total, including tax for the 10 foot pipe and the two reducers was $3.49. Good deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> I would have been cheaper if I could have just bought three feet, but it wasn't an option. All right. So the with the couplings, you don't have to have them, but it does make it more comfortable. Uh, so you could just use a piece of pipe. <clears throat> you, If you do use couplings, you don't have to use glue. I didn't, and it's not necessary. You can if you want, but I just pounded them on with a two by four, wah, 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 wah. all right, and it went all the way on, there are no gaps, it is airtight, and it's not coming off, all right, no need to use glue, bye Joey, all right, uh, you might have noticed a couple of additions, all right, this is a super magnet, and this is important, if you're using any kind of steel dart and you put it in there, if you're shooting down, it'll just drop all the way through, right? There's no, there's nothing to hold it there unless it's a snug fit and you don't want a snug fit. You want a little, a little bit of play, all right? So you put a magnet on there and it holds the dart. You put it in there, it stops. It does not come out, all right? It just goes to the hang of it and stops, all right? You could use it to hold your darts if you want. Um, yeah, I don't do that. I just I just keep my darts in a bowl because I don't walk around with this. I find a comfortable place to stand or sit and shoot, all right? So um, I don't, I don't want to quiver um, I don't, you know, I don't need to transport these other than carrying them in a bowl. <clears throat> okay, so super magnet. Uh, learned that. I learned the PVC pipe, the mouthpiece, the super magnet from Donzi52. Check out his channel, all right? Uh, then I added a laser, all right?
seemed like a cool idea, laser pointer, how, how <laughs> space age is that? <clears throat> Couple problems. One, the laser beam reflects off of the pipe and shows two dots. All right. The bigger one is the aiming dot. All right. Yeah, no big deal there, right? Okay, the thing is, um, when you exhale a large amount of air, exhale sharply, you move and your blowgun moves and your laser beam is going to move. All right, so even though it's cool, it's really not that useful for aiming. Uh, once you shoot one of these like a hundred times, it becomes instinct and you don't really even need to aim, all right? So, yeah, the laser's cool, but it's not necessary, and, um, yeah, I'm probably going to take it off. <laughs> in the springtime, it's freezing outside right now, but in the springtime, I'm going to spray paint this. Uh, maybe camo, or maybe, like, black and red, something cool, all right? But for now, it's totally usable, all right? Okay. That is Logan. Uh, three feet is a good length. Um, that's what was recommended on the video I watched. And yeah, two feet will work, but you get more velocity and more penetration with three feet, uh, four feet, even more so. But uh, for in the house, three feet is a really good compromise. Inside, outside, Really good all-around blowgun. Okay, now let's talk about the darts. How can I... Okay, we'll go like this. These are the darts. Do some focusing. Okay, I made these with post-it notes and tape and little nails, all right? Because I have a whole jar full of nails from a project from years ago, all right? <clears throat> and these work really, really well. These little cone shape. oh, and uh, hot glue to hold the nail in there, all right? Um, I'm not going to uh, demonstrate how to make these, but I will link the video for where I learned how to make these. These I've tried. I've tried a lot of different types of darts, homemade darts, and these work the best. All right. So I made 11 of them, and I will do a shooting demonstration at the end of this video. A uh, couple other things I want to mention. This blowgun also shoots Nerf darts. <laughs> if you want to have indoor blowgun wars uh, with your friends or um, siblings, get a couple backs of Nerf darts. That's fun. These I made. I made the cone dart with some toothpicks. These are a fail. All right, they're too light. All right, they don't work. Don't waste your time with toothpicks, all right? Uh, something I'm experimenting with is a pen. And this is like a trash bag and tape and a nail glued in the end. Um, this doesn't work, but I'm still experimenting with it. Yeah, something to do, right? Okay, that's it. That is my homemade blowgun my homemade darts and you know, the first time you make one of these it's going to take a while like 10 minutes <laughs> um, but if you if you keep making them keep making them you'll get faster and they will get better and yeah so here we go for the shooting demonstration thanks for watching have a great day peace out